Hi there guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert your old Minecraft Xbox 360 worlds to either Bedrock PC or Java PC. Uh, I tried to do this yesterday, followed a bunch of tutorials, and a lot of the old ones that used to work don't work anymore. Um, so I found this new uh, similar method to do it. Let's get started. Just a quick disclaimer as well, you will actually need to own Minecraft Bedrock Edition, even if you only plan on moving your world to Minecraft Java Edition, and that's because of the conversion process. Uh, also, you will need a memory stick of any size. First of all, locate the name of the Minecraft Xbox 360 world that you want to put onto PC. Uh, you can do this just by looking at the worlds through in the actual game, and then uh, find them on your hard drive and move them onto the portable memory stick. Okay, so when you plug the drive back into your PC, you should have a file in it just called content and a bunch of number and letters that don't really make any sense. Um, but that proves that you've actually got the world converted onto the drive. And what you want to do then now is open Horizon. Um, once Horizon opens, it will actually automatically detect that you've um, inserted a drive uh, with the necessary files. So once we go here now, yeah, we have flash drive. Uh, if you don't have this section up here, go to tools and then go to, is it uh, device explorer? And here it is. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to games, Minecraft, find your Minecraft world, uh, right click it and extract file. Uh, we're going to put ours on the desktop. I'm just going to right click, make a new folder and call it uh, Xbox Minecraft world. Ooh, Xbox Minecraft world. Uh, there we go. So we'll pop that down there and we'll just extract it to this location. There we are, so it'll successfully extract. Uh, as soon as you've done that, then you're going to want to go to Package Manager, uh, Open, and then it should already be on this folder and just double click the, uh, the file that ends with .bin. Once that's done, you can just click Contents, right click on this, click Extract again, and then save game.dat into the same folder. There we are, and that's done. So once you've finished with that, you can actually close uh, Horizon and this is where you need Minecraft Bedrock Edition on PC. You're going to want to open Bedrock Edition, click on play, create new world, uh, just a new world, uh, create new world again. <laughs> uh, we'll change the game mode to creative and we'll just create a random world. It doesn't matter a seed, it doesn't matter if you choose the bonus chest at the start. Um, just create a blank canvas world and just make sure that it all loads in properly. And then once you've created it, uh, just save and quit. And you can quit back to the desktop. Uh, it's just so that we have a world in this folder to replace. And as soon as you've done that, you're going to want to open the MCC loot chest. Not the MCC loot chest PE, just the MCC loot chest. There will be a link in the description for both of these. Um, but what you're going to want to do then is go to open um, save game.dat from your Xbox Minecraft world folder that we generated in Horizon. Double click on that. Um, this is where all the data for the world is stored. So you'll have the players um, and like all the NBT data for uh, the overworld and nether and the end. Uh, go to tools, convert. Now, usually you would be able to convert straight to Java, but I tried that uh, two times and neither worked. It um, just gave me a load of chunk errors. Even when I tried to repair it in MC Edit, it just went wrong. So go convert to bedrock, uh, select world, and double click on the world you just created. Um, so basically you're replacing the data of this world you created with the data of your Minecraft Xbox 360 world. Um, you don't have to mess around with these, you can if you want. Uh, you can turn on the nether and the end if you want. I don't because I didn't really have a particularly important nether or end. And then replace biomes, I like to turn on just so that you get all the old biomes. Uh, they really messed up in Xbox 360 but I just think it's funny. Um, so once you're done with that, you can click convert. It'll convert all of the chunks to the bedrock format. Once that is all finished, you can close the MCC loot chest program and you're gonna to wanna to open Minecraft bedrock edition again on PC. Go to play, 
uh, go to the world that you've got and click on the edit button, put yourself in creative mode just so that it's easier and you can fly and just double check that it all converted properly. And once you spawn in, as you can see, this is kind of old Minecraft generation. Um, and if we fly over here, yeah, here we go. This was my survival world from when I was like 12 years old. Um, big wooden box with no details whatsoever and a stone brick castle, which was all the rage back then. Um, so you can uh, confirm that this has worked. Uh, look at the ice sheets in the water. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, once you've confirmed that this works, um, you can just uh, save and quit and you can exit out of the game again. All right, we are very, very close to being done now. Um, so what you're going to want to do is open Minecraft Java Editions Launcher, uh, go to Installations, New, and just make a um, 1.12.2 version. 1.12.2 uh, is a very, very compatible version and is a good way of uh, getting things to work. Um, so we're going to want to change that to 1.12.2, launch the game, and once that loads up, um, we're just going to quit out of it again. There we go. So we can just click on quit. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to go to the MCC P uh, chat, uh, tool chest PE. Open that. Uh, I don't want to join the Discord server. Slick, wait for it to load. There we go. Uh, go to file, open, and then it'll open your bedrock saves folder. Uh, click on world that you... Uh, put into bedrock uh, it's much it's very much the same but this time go to tools convert to java um, you're going to want it in the 1.12 format um, what else do you want uh, replace the biomes very much the same click on convert it'll convert the chunks now to the java edition format conversion complete um, that should be done and it should automatically place itself in your Minecraft saves folder. So we can double check that now. If you go to percent app data percent and press enter, go to dot Minecraft saves. You should have the uh, file in here. It's probably just be called world. Um, but yeah, we can load up Minecraft 1.12.2 now. Play. There we go. Go to single player world and oh here we are let's turn up that fov and here it is all in java in uh, java edition um so yeah it all works now uh, this is definitely java edition as you can see and we're going to next update the world to the latest version and then i'm going to show you how to insert it into your server Okay, so here we are in Minecraft 1.16.4. This is the latest release as of the 6th of January 2021. Uh, click on single player. Your world will still be here. Uh, I know what I'm doing as long as you've got a backup. Um, and it'll convert it to the new Minecraft world format that's used in all the latest versions. Uh, this could take uh, a few minutes. And there we are, we're in and it's all converted to the latest version. So you can play on this, um, your old Minecraft Xbox 360 worlds with your friends in the latest version of Minecraft, build a nether portal, go to the new nether and just carry on where you left off from uh, 2015. <laughs> okay, getting your world now from your Minecraft saves folder onto your server is ridiculously easy. All you need to do is delete the world that auto generates and replace it with the world from your saves file, make sure that it is literally called world, W-O-R-L-D. As long as uh, that's all done, then it should be fine. We can launch the server. Um, I will come back into the game, multiplayer, add server, uh, local host, and then it'll ping for a second uh, while it's just loading the spawn area. Um, this may take a few minutes if this is your first attempt to do it. There we go, and it's done. So then if we refresh, there we go, a Minecraft server it's called. Um, hop in, and there we go. You and your friends can join now and play your old worlds together. 
there we go. I hope this was a helpful tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And if you want me to do another kind of video like this in the future, let me know. Uh, I can have a look into it and see what I can do. Anyway, thank you for watching and goodbye.